Hi, this video is about how Jesus rules over all men. Hi, I'm Bake Godafi, and this is Bible Study Verse by Verse. If you'd get your Bible and open it to the New Testament, to the Gospel of John, to chapter 17, we'll begin in just a moment. In John 17, verse 2, Jesus is given power over all men, over all flesh. As you have given him power over all flesh, that verse says, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. The Father gave the Son power over all mankind. He rules over all. He governs all. He disposes of, of everyone. He judges everyone. Our life and our continued existence we owe to the Lord Jesus Christ. He rules in righteousness over us. He judged the whole world. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. God has spoken by his Son in the last days, whom he has appointed heir of all things, Hebrews 1 says, by whom he made the worlds, who being in the, the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. There's his glory. He has power over all flesh. He is the creator of everything. He is the inheritor of everything. And in the middle, he upholds everything. He's the brightness of the glory of God. And he perched our sins. And he sat down because his work is accomplished at the right hand of the glory on high. Unto the Son it said, Thy throne, O God, is forever. And a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. God the, the Lord Jesus rules over his kingdom now with righteousness. He upholds all things by the word of his power, and he's on that throne, and he's ruling there. God has given him power over all flesh. He's been exalted to the right hand of God. He upholds everything, and he rules over everything. For in him, the Bible says, we live and move and have our being. In Acts chapter 17, as certain also of your poets have said, for we are his offspring. Where does our life come from? It comes from the Lord Jesus. In him we live and move and have our being. Because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world. By, in righteousness, by that man whom he has ordained. Acts chapter 17. He has appointed a day, God has appointed a day in which there will be judgment. And the judge of everyone is going to be the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has been ordained to this, whereof he has given assurance unto all men that he raised him from the dead. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead? and set him in his own right hand. Christ was raised from the dead. He has power over all flesh. He's seated up in heaven, in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion in every name that is named. That's somebody with authority. Listen, far above every principality, power, might, and dominion in every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that fills all in all. That's who the Lord Jesus is. He has power over all flesh. He is seated at the right hand of God. He has been exalted there. He has made propitiation for our sins. He has accomplished our salvation. We live and move and have our being in Him. God has appointed a day in which He will judge us. And in the meantime, He upholds all things by the word of His power. That is who the Lord Jesus is. That is the power that He has over all mankind and over all flesh. Thanks for watching. I hope the Lord saves you as you commit yourself in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. I have hundreds of Bible teaching videos on my YouTube channel. You can click the red circle icon below called Bible Study Verse by Verse and go there. Then you can click on the playlist and select the videos you'd like to watch. If you have questions or comments about this video, you can email, email me at all one word, Bible Study 
v by v at gmail.com. And please subscribe to my channel for more Bible study verse by verse.